Good relations with Russia is not a bad thing. This is contrary to what mainstream media and most of the left is trying to tell you. You know, this used to be something that the right would always push. Russia is the enemy. Russia wants to tear down the United States. Russia is this, Russia is that, Russia is evil, communism, they want to make us all communist. This was something that the right-wingers used to push all the time in, you know, a propaganda type way. Even, you know, in the last election, it's funny because Obama had, you know, destroyed relations with Russia. But back in 2012, when he was running against Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney was the one who was fear-mongering with Russia. And Obama was the one who wanted to work, you know, diplomatically. But now the tables have really turned. Now, since, you know, the Democrats lost, they can't accept defeat and say, well, we really had a bad message. We really didn't work hard enough. We didn't push for change. We didn't acknowledge the facts. And they can't say Hillary Clinton did a poor job. So they have to say... Russia. Russia hacked the election, which is false. Absolutely false. They did not change the votes. That is a lie. It was allegedly, that, allegedly them that sent it to WikiLeaks, but that hasn't even been confirmed. Julian Assange, the leader of WikiLeaks, the founder, said it wasn't even Russia. So we really got to get the facts straight. Russia did not hack the election. We need to improve relations with Russia because they are at an all-time low. Especially when Barack Obama was in office. They were both him and Putin fighting a proxy war in Syria. They were, you know, not too far away from World War III. And that is one of the reasons that I was in favor of Trump winning the presidency because of the Syrian policy. I don't want to go to World War III. War is terrible, and nobody wins in war. And if there's a third world war, it is the end of the world. There is a... War is not the answer. Why are the Democrats starting to push war? There's enough nukes in the world to blow it up 80 times over. Is that something to play with over Syria? Who cares about Syria right now? Who cares about arming the rebels? We have to fight ISIS. And if we work with Russia, we'll be able to do so. There's many benefits. We can solve world problems together. Us and Vladimir Putin. Yes, that sounds like a plan. No, it is not a terrible idea to work with Russia. Why? Why do you have this idea in your head that working with Russia is dangerous. Why? I'll tell you why. The Democrats are saying this because they lost. They were never in favor of opposing good relations with Russia. Never. They're saying that because they have to stir away from the facts. They can't acknowledge that they were a weak corporatist failure of a party, the Democrats. The world's tired of them. The Americans did not want another Barack Obama in office. And that's why Donald Trump won. He campaigned on change. He pushed the people. He, he really, he touched them. Because they were out of work. They were angry. They were tired of the establishment. So Trump rose. And he grew. And he used these points to gain the support of the working people. That's something that Hillary Clinton failed to do. And now the Democrats are looking at Russia. There's that. And also, for ratings, you know, CNN, they want to make money. So they, they push these Russia lies because they know it grabs audiences. Like, there's many benefits from working with Russia that CNN and other Democrats refuse to even acknowledge. First of all, the sharing of intelligence is crucial. If the US and Russia worked together, they could obliterate, obliterate, I should say, ISIS within days, probably nine days. 
Why not? What is they? What are they afraid of? We have to develop together as nations. And I agree with Donald Trump. I agree with him when he says we should work with Russia from, you know, for, from a standpoint of strength, from a position of power. They're going to make good deals together and sanctioning them only angers them. We don't want to poke the bear in the eye and that bear is Vladimir Putin. We got to be strong. We got to tell him he's wrong when he's wrong. But for taking out the terrorists in Syria, he shouldn't be told he's wrong. Look, maybe he went a bit too hard in the civilian areas. But that's nothing that the Americans haven't done either. You know, there's a sacrifice that has to be made. And that sacrifice is improving relations with Russia in order to improve the world. I'm happy that Donald Trump wants to improve relations with Russia. It makes me sleep better at night, and I'm going to be honest, it does. I do not like the idea of a possible World War III. It causes me a lot of uneasiness. And Hillary Clinton would have only made things worse with Russia rather than better. So I don't think that's the reasoning for most of Trump voters. But that was mine. I didn't vote. I'm Canadian. But I like the fact that Trump doesn't want to escalate tensions with the only other debatable superpower. That's my two cents. I think good relations with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. And it's not about trumping Putin's puppet. That's, that's it's garbage. It's garbage. It's propaganda. He was elected. Yes, he said good things about Putin. And yes, Putin said good things about him. But only because of policy. Of course, Putin's going to support Trump. He wants to fix relations with them. Whereas Clinton wants to implement a no-fly zone in Syria. Which, bring, which would have brought us even closer to a third world war. So it's not about you know, following Putin. It's about being reasonable. It's about understanding what the right decisions are to make. And how there's really few benefits from beefing with the bear, Vladimir Putin. Because he's a tough man and he he's willing to go low if you push him there. So I'm excited to see the improving of relations and I'm excited to see things fix themselves in Syria. And I'm excited to see the Democrats witness this all and realize that they were wrong and that this diplomacy that Trump is pushing is really the right decision.